She is not the boss. I am. She certainly acts like it, though. Welcome and good day, my new and returning viewers. Selaviathan here, and we're back with a brand new reaction today. Today, we're going to be checking out the Netflix animated series, Dragon Age Absolution. And man, the trailer got me hyped. It looks as though it's a show that takes place in the setting of a uh, medieval times magical world with elves, dragons, um, you know, kingdoms, and, and all the like. Uh, and I know it also follows the um, Dragon Age games. Now, the only one I've played was Inquisition. I'm hoping that it's not going to be too heavily focused on the lore and it can kind of stand on its own just so I'm not too confused. This is cool because it's going to be like a quick little six episode series here so it's not too long so I'm hoping to try to roll these episodes out as fast as I can. But yeah we're just going to get started with this one. Don't forget to like share and subscribe. Turn on notifications down below guys so you know when I upload next and Drop down some more recommendations or any brand new stuff that you guys would like to, me to react to. Netflix animated series honestly are, are always top notch for me. So I know I'm probably most likely just going to like this one even if the story is not really that great. It's going to have some really great animated animated fights and scenes and stuff like that. So definitely excited. But I'm not going to waste any time. We're going to get started with Dragon Age Absolution Episode 1. A Woman Unseen. Let's go. Yeah, just a typical day scaling a wall. No biggie. <laughs> Yo, know, the animation's already pretty top notch over here. Amateurs. <laughs> now you know I hate to question your decisions, Miriam. But Do I look like the kind of fool dumb enough to storm a mage? Okay, tower? yeah. So Miriam, this girl's the main character of the whole thing. What's your plan? <laughs> Bribe the washerwoman. Figured all we really needed were a couple of mage robes and, uh, you know. Distraction. Even while betraying Don't her friends to get it done. I like this girl, yeah, Miriam. So this seem, show seems like a, a group of like of like thieves, I guess, like a thieves brigade or something, right? I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out like the overarching story of what the hell exactly is going going on. <laughs> That right there, with like the split there, made me think that like maybe Miriam isn't the only main character, and maybe there's like a split between other characters. Maybe. You couldn't stick to the plan, could you, Elf? Always so sure you know better. I got Valerium, Dolph. If they couldn't get past two guards, they never could have taken a mage tower. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she ain't wrong. <laughs> <clears throat> I hope we are not interrupting anything. Safira? No, no! You don't just get to... No, I know, not after you just I'm left. sorry, but I don't care about your apologies. Delirium was only to see if you were as good as Hira promised. And you are, uh, both of you. Which is why I'd like to offer you both a job. I suggest you take it. You see, I already told the city guard where to find the missing Lyrium. The entire garrison is on its way right now. <laughs> what? Kill him! Kill them all! Awesome finesse, man. It's like, you don't want to do the job? It's okay, man. We already snitched on you. This isn't about you, Lyrium. Stand aside. No. I don't know why Dolph was so salty about her acting like the boss. Like, she clearly has the skills to be the boss. Do you understand? Bro, man, and she she does not care. No, no, no. She is not the boss. I am. She certainly acts like it, though. Next time, aim 
lean a little more to the right. Listen, I know I'm asking a lot, but the Inquisition gave me one last mission before it broke up, and I need your help to do it. Roland, Miriam, this is Quirion, a rebel mage and a talented healer. And that's Lackler. Lord of Fortune, and a talented whatever the opposite of healer is. Three experienced fighters, two mages, and yourself? This job must be dangerous. Before the Inquisition ended, we learned that Tevinta Chantry was in possession of an artifact. The Circulum Infinitus. The Circulum Infinitus. We tracked it to an old summer palace belonging to the Tevinta Divine, the head of their faith. It's being studied by a magister named Rizarin. And the palace is in the city of Nessa. That's why you needed me. She has a connection. I. You know its layout, its defenses. Your only hope of pulling this off, Miriam. Will you help us? Please. You need her on your team, man. She she got some skills, no. yo. She's a fighter. You gotta convince her. Bring her back. Drag her if you got to. You need her. You're right. I should have told you everything, and for that, I'm sorry. But I think you might need this mission as much as I do. You have to stop running from the past, Miri. Let me help you take something back from those bastards, and we can live happily ever after. I wonder what she lost. Together? She she never doesn't ever want to go back. Eesh, okay, all right, okay. I guess they. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't get those vibes at all from them. Thought they were like childhood friends. <laughs> it's easy to think to winter is the same. As I did country. not get those vibes. It's not. Magic rules there, and those who have it rule everyone else. Kunari are hated, and most elves live in outright slavery. Blood magic, raised corpses, and demons may be frowned on officially. But Magisters are the officials, since we're robbing the Divine himself. Well, let's stay on our toes, huh? Tavinter Imperium. You want to help? Tell the world's tallest elf to slow down. Hey, man, you can't blame someone for not wanting to spend a lot of time in a country that enslaved them. Shh. She's an elf from Tavinter. I've left it at that. I suggest you do the same. You better not pry, man. <laughs> you leave her past alone. Watch your tongue, dwarf. Whatever I am, I've survived things that make the deep roads look like a pleasant stroll. And I assure you, you'll lose your nerve long before I will. So lengthen your stride and shut the fuck up. Watch yourself, Whoa. dwarf. Old, state your business. Uh, my wife and I are from Terastus. <laughs> she has Bellows cough, and we're following the pilgrimage of Divine Adnaeus. Any elf must post a five gold bond in case they break the peace. Five gold? <clears throat> Everybody's allowed to go in except the elves. The elves have got to pay. They may call it a summer palace, but it's actually three different structures joined together. Below that, the whole place is a maze of secret passages. Easy to get lost in. And it's all built atop a sealed temple to the old gods. If the smuggler routes are closed, there are discreet ways into the palace itself. Even if this divine isn't, they could still be usable. Quidian and I... Hey, magic mavens. We'll ensure everyone in the cathedral stays put during the robbery. I mean, naturally, but that's gonna take a lot of magic. Don't you think a Kunari buying a small arsenal of magic weapons might attract some attention? Oh, it's not about attracting attention. It's about what kind? Can I help you? Oh, I certainly hope so. My master is new in town, and he sent me to fetch... Lyrium, healing potions, knockout powder, arcane grenades, all kinds, and, um, everything else on this list. Is that not suspicious at all? That's so suspicious. Two words. The Blight. You know, I have some more exotic defense items in the back. Show me. Exotic? What the hell are exotic defense items? 
<laughs> I do not want to know. You should take out the guards and watch my back while I'm in the vault. Not to mention make sure everyone else gets out alive. I need you both in perfect sync. Think you can handle that? Let's remember it all means precisely squat if we can't find a way in. I'll find it. She definitely will. I'm excited for this heist. <laughs> You're in my seat, elf. There a reason for that? Apologies. We have a problem, friend? Yes. I think this elf's a runaway slave. With stolen property, no less. Sorry, elf. You're coming with me. Not... Hey! Keep walking. They can't look at the plans. Fair play on that one. If you share her, oh. I can pay you Oh my it. god. This guy, man. He, he thought he was he was thinking some like disgusting things, yo. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. That guy definitely deserved that shit. These guys like are not standing any chance. Like I haven't seen them hit like pull one successful hit yet. <laughs> None of them, not a single one. Mm, I feel like she's feeling ashamed because they're doing all of this stuff for her. <laughs> Boom! Down they went. <laughs> oh, you know my wife's right. I just can't stay out of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just stop? You think that did anything except risk our mission? Neither did I. We have some kind of backstory for this girl. She's going through it. She's been going through it. The way they treat elves and shit, like something horrible happened to her. That like like she doesn't even she never wanted to even come back to here. Because the bar fight might not have been the smartest idea, but I figured out a way into the palace. Everyone okay? Miriam found a way for us to get into the palace. The only way in. It's me. There's an old escape tunnel intended for the divine himself. Oh, trust me. I don't want to, but you all stood up for me in the stupidest way possible, but oh. you did it. And that means something. I like I like how the, I like this girl's uh drive a little bit. Like she's really risking something here. Cause they catch her, she's dead. She's on death if row instantly. Back, I'll kill you myself. <laughs> Thank you. Be there. Where do you think you're going? This has to be finished before. Forgive me. On your way. What the heck did that mark mean? The guy just like, he let her in. He's like, forgive me, go right ahead, sir. <laughs> I won't stop you. Come back later. Hey, I said fuck! She did it. We're in. <laughs> We're in, guys. We're in. Okay, guys. Uh, Dragon Age Absolution Episode 1. It was cool. I liked it a lot. Um, the main character, Miriam, seems like a uh, complex character. She seems like she's had like a bit of a troubled past. And essentially, like, it looks as though like elves are like basically like second rate citizens. Like they're discriminated against. They're being told that they have to pay tolls and stuff when other people don't. It's definitely some discrimination there. This group of people, they're trying to steal the... Circul... Circul... Circulum Infinitus. Oh, 
I gotta give myself a, me a medal for remembering that one. <laughs> the Circle of Infinitus. And essentially it's like this um, artifact that they're trying to steal. So it looked as though like this whole show is gonna be focused on this heist. Cause I was kind of assuming that based off of like the opening and what was going on. And as I was looking in and as they were preparing, I'm like, since the heist hasn't started yet, I think this is this whole show is gonna be about it. Um but honestly great uh some good characters some strong some strong like uh lore there it, it seems like it's following the story of, of the games a lot and uh, and and i did see the direct correlation with like the um the uh end of the dragon age inquisition and going into the next one so we will see but uh yeah good good show gonna be definitely excited to continue reacting to this one so stay tuned for that one guys um with that note i will end the video here take care and have yourselves a great rest of your day bye bye